Let's practice the calculations when we need to use a counter gear. The first step will be to calculate the gear ratio number one. In this case, we're going to use 32 teeth on the driven gear of the counter divided by 12 teeth on the main drive input gear. Now that gives me a calculation of 2.6666. So that would look like this. We need to round that to 2.67 to 1. Next, we want to calculate the gear ratio for ratio number 2 over on the right on the driven output side. For that one, we will enter 38 for the driven gear teeth divided by 14 for the counter drive gear. That also gives me a calculation that needs to be rounded 2.71428. That would look something like this. Now that has to be rounded to 2.71. To calculate the overall gear ratio for this gear train, we now need to multiply 2.67 times 2.71. That equals 7.2357. Now that will be rounded to 7.24 to 1. Now we can continue to calculate how much output torque there will be, how much RPM change there will be, and we can figure out the rotational direction. Back to your calculator, we learned earlier to get the torque output is a multiplication problem. My input torque of 275 foot-pounds gets multiplied by the gear ratio of 7.24. That gives me 1,991. To continue to find out how much RPM change takes place on the driven gear, if you remember correctly, that is a division problem. Enter the RPMs of 3,000 RPMs being put into the input gear. Divide that by your gear ratio of 7.24. That results in an answer of 414.36464. That gets rounded to 414 RPMs. And finally, the rotational direction. This is just our basic knowledge that two external teeth gears rotate in opposite directions. The blue input drive gear is rotating clockwise. Therefore, the red counter gear will turn counterclockwise, which will force the purple driven output gear to turn clockwise.